It's the premiere of my film, A Quiet Place Day One, at the Tribeca Film Festival. And I am very excited to finally be sharing it with a room full of people. I can't wait to see what they think. I have had a wonderful experience joining the A Quiet Place family. Uh, the first two films uh, made a difference in the world of cinema. People love them. People hold them close to their hearts. It's a big fan base and I feel honored to be able to carry on that, with that legacy and to, yeah, to be telling this prequel story with an incredible cast that was so easy to work with and a, a project that was so much fun to go to work for every day. I'm extremely excited to see this on the big screen. I'm particularly excited to see this with other people. Uh, I think that I can't wait to see what effect this film has uh, on, in the room. The fans of the first two will be uh, pleased to know that we've carried on with the, you know, the, 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 the touchstones of this um, universe, but we've made it bigger and we're in New York City, so there is um, a largesse to what happens. And uh, I think they will also be excited or, or, or pleased with the fact that we've kept the intimacy in the story. In the first two, you're really invested in the Abbott family, and hopefully you're really invested in Sam and Eric. I think it's a frightening world, and it's a fantastic concept. It's very rare to get original IP these days in cinema, but at the root of it, there's characters that people really care about and people want to follow. So we wanted to pay homage to that and show reference to the first two films whilst making it our own. We've got a fantastic cast on this one, the wonderful Lupita Nyong'o, Alex Wolf, Jamon Honsu returning from the first two films. Uh, we were very fortunate to have an incredible director in Michael Sanoski, who came and brought his own flavour to it whilst also preserving the world which we are so fond of. The fact that this film exists so much in silence is such a fantastic and powerful part of the film. It's very rare that you're going to be able to watch a film of this size with such limited dialogue. So I think it will surprise audiences, I think it will uh, terrify them, and it's going to do all the things that it's meant to do. What we're here tonight to have is a cinematic experience of uh, day one, quiet place. Um, this uh, unique uh, interpretation of uh, this horrifying terror being staged in New York City, uh, a place that never sleeps, probably the loudest, one of the loudest places in the world. So it's pretty interesting to see how we can shut down a place like that and uh, how the uh, New Yorkers can quickly learn to, uh, to be quiet in order to survive. Interestingly, uh, you know, New York is, uh, is quite a contradiction about the theme of our story, which is all about keeping silence. And so, as they say, if you're quiet, you're lit. It's really exciting to see day one, given the first two were, you know, uh, character-driven narratives, and we were hoping to, you know, pretty much do the same. And I think people were moved, uh, you know, coming out of the theater, and so that was pleasant to see. Hi, I'm Alex Wolf, and we are celebrating the premiere of Quiet Place Day One. 
I feel like I won the lottery getting to work on a franchise that people mean so much to people and also to just be surrounded by my friends. Now they've become my friends. Uh, Michael's become one of my best friends and Lupita and Joe, it's the same thing, and Jamon as well. So it's just really lucky. You don't have a movie of uh, this size with this nice of people. It's, it's very, very rare. So I'm cherishing it. I'm excited to see Lupita and Joe and the cat together. That is what I'm really looking forward to seeing. We're in New York City at the premiere of A Quiet Place Day One. It is a thousand degrees outside, but everyone's very excited and yeah, it's, we're having a great time. I was thrilled to be a part of A Quiet Place Day One. It was really generous of John Krasinski to reach out and really let me kind of take this on as my own thing and bring my own voice to it. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been really wonderful. One of the core ideas for this movie was doing day one in New York City, which the first two films take place in a more rural environment, and they were a little more contained, and I think opening it up to one of the loudest cities in the world, filled with millions of people, uh, just kind of notches everything up. More creatures, more scares. You should go see this in the theater because we worked really hard on the sound mix, and you're never going to see it quite as immersive as you will in the theater. I mean. Things are all around you. You feel like you're really immersed in that world. Uh, and I just think watching it at home isn't ever going to quite do it justice. If you've seen the first two, there's plenty of things you will appreciate in this. But if you've never seen them, you don't need to have. It's a contained story that is all its own. And it'll give you everything you need. And you won't feel left out or confused. The scope of this film is pretty incredible. It was two and a half years of my life and every single minute of that was spent trying to make the best, biggest movie we could. Uh, we spent so much time trying to create this environment that you've never seen before, interactions with the creatures you've never seen before. Um, it's huge, yet still heartfelt and intimate. Uh, it's, it's really beautiful. I hope everyone enjoys it.